Yo! Video games. Yeah, people were saying scalebound control on Switch. That rumor actually happened. I don't know if you heard about that a few months ago. Which game was it? Scalebound. Is it actually coming to Switch? Like the big rumor was that someone was saying that Scalebound has been resurrected. Well, right, right, right. That was the rumor, but that's not confirmed yet. No, no, no. Yeah, okay. I thought it was like that happened. I was like, what? <laughs> I mean, if it is, it's not going to be the same. Game. Yeah, I know, I know. It, yeah. it would be a completely redesigned. Bound game. scale. Bail scound. Yeah, sure. We're gonna rub down. Mulgore for Smash. Well, you know what I want. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's the that's the one character that could be in Smash that would like you know that would that would rub me the hardest is Fulgor. Fulgor and Smash, rub me right now. Rub me. I, I, I would Keep just rubbing. want it so I get all the Ki music in Smash. Yes, yeah, so and that just gives an excuse to put mix uh, new music as well as classic Killer Instinct music in Smash Brothers. Yeah, that's all I need. There was a Snyder. That's true. Astral Chain could technically be scale bound. It's really true. So what, I, I just jump at him and I hit attack? And uh, I yeah, him. jump towards him like really hard yeah. and then press the attack button on the way down when the red symbol shows up. Yeah. So, that is true. Scale bound absolutely could be Astral Chain. No, I don't think The core of the game looks kind of there, there was the guy, JP Collins, from the NBA, said I, you know, they were shopping around the game like he worked for two years ago. Ah, uh, okay. So, Interesting night, Chad. We had a lot of good conversations. I think we're on the precipice of some pretty insane video game announcement shit. We're also on the precipice of uh, Next Generation. That always is exciting. Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess Astral Chain probably went in development Dogs right dangerous. after Nier. You can parry the dog. Yeah, I know. Parry and then strike. Wait for the dog to attack. That was it. <laughs> You make a big ching noise. All, like, you did, all you did was block. So wait, he's gonna, he's gonna jump at you and attack, parry, and then strike. There you go. Man. Good dog. There you go. Okay, okay. We're learning. We're learning. I don't. I wouldn't mind. I think that'd be a really cool addition if they were together, like ice climbers. Yeah. That'd be or that'd be badass. Banjo. Banjo for Smash. Well, there's no way I can actually get over there. <laughs> the teriyaki bowl. It actually wasn't bad, but... With the teriyaki sauce, it's pretty salty. Yeah, I put teriyaki sauce. Well, yeah, you put too much. Yeah, yeah that's why I always get my teriyaki bowl with the teriyaki sauce. It is fast food, so it's gonna, it's gonna have like vegetables in it and shit. So it's gonna have a lot of preservatives. It's no. not like it's not like the natural chicken rice bowls that Jessica makes that tastes right, like yeah. real. That's what like when JJ makes me food, I'm like, oh my god, it's real fucking food. It's so good. I'm like Jesus, I love it. JJ just makes a bunch of vegetables and chicken and rice, and I just like I'm good. I love that. Food. Yes, the thing is that, um... Dude, I'm convinced you cannot play in top. I don't think you can. So what's going on is that when uh, what, you actually do like something like a, a teriyaki chicken bowl, you gotta get the teriyaki sauce on the side. You can't- ah! <laughs> I told you. <laughs> this is bullshit. I told you. Let me know. Let me, know. Let me read okay. no. Talking and playing video games. Yeah, use, I, I can, easy. To easy. me, use a very similar uh, similar brain execution. Hero Rex, that First is. First of all, I don't know what you're talking about because I'm talking. Oh, jeez, I have to attack him while I'm talking. Not just what bullshit. Oh, not just bullshit. But you also have to do good. Yeah, you can't, can't, I'm, yeah. I'm whooping on him. There you go. See that? Yeah, one more. One more. Wait. One more parry. One more parry. One more parry. That was a parry. That was happening. Yeah. This, this guard broke. Uh, so is it a reset now? Yeah. Next life. Next life bar. All right, all right. The thing about teriyaki sauce, and when you put it, the thing about teriyaki, teriyaki sauce. About teriyaki sauce. Hey, when, when you're, you put it, you're about to lose your crush. You're about to need to back off of it and recover. Right. Yeah. So what happens when you do teriyaki sauce? Uh -huh. Like you can't put too much of it on your your plate. When you do that, you um, add all that salt and all that sugar all in there because the teriyaki sauce isn't that great. Oh no, there's nothing good about it. Yeah. But I can eat that stuff. 
uh, when I have a little bit of teriyaki sauce, not too much, and I always tell them to put the teriyaki sauce them on the side because I can talk and play at the same time, Max. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> give my fucking golden give, orbs. Give my money. Give my orbs, my glorbing blorbs. Uh, where else? Oh, cool! I found something you guys There's did. An item down there. Yeah, I think I feel like talking. And holding like and keeping in a sub. Some people can do it just right, fine, but like right. talking and holding a subject matter while playing a game takes like, oh. especially a fighting game, takes like a similar amount of brain power that uses a similar part of the brain for me, and it just I just goes. Duh, yeah, yeah. Uh, duh. And guess what? You're a streamer, so talking and uh, playing well, the game. In, in, part comes in, 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 in. If I if I don't if I'm like adventuring and enjoying things, yeah, then it's yeah, like it's fine. Yeah, yeah. But if I'm like having to concentrate for a boss, I become a mute. Yeah. Like, I don't say anything. I just I start thinking. Like, wow, I'm really sorry. I'm not saying anything. I have to, I have to apologize for that a lot. Yeah, don't kill. Yeah, but that guy. Kill. I want to kill that guy. Yeah. yeah. Grapple up there, right true. there. It's not, it's not it's not jump though. and then wait jump. for it. He hears it though, doesn't he? I don't know. And I think he's seeing you. I think you're very silent. Oh, cool. Yeah. Inject. You are a damn shinobi. Alright, uh, that ching! That somebody saw it and I don't know who. He's coming towards you right now, so you have a, yeah. a chance to get away. Uh, Woo! You didn't get hit, bro. What he the whacked fuck? you. Before you were out of there. I think he did. So how do I heal? Uh, uh, heal, the heal button. Uh, press left or right on the D-pad, and you can select for your healing. There you go. Use, yeah, that's that's a that, that'll actually replenish. What you just use doesn't replenish. That'll actually come back when you die. Oh, okay. Yeah, those, oh, okay. Those rebuild later. Also, what I use doesn't come back. Uh, yeah. What you just use the pellet? Yeah. Those are limited items. Fuck. That comes back. Yeah. So just use the right items. You only have health. Well, that comes back. Like if you rest, those re those refill. Damn it! All right, so. I just in the end, in. What time zone am I in? I feel like you're always streaming. I'm in a Pacific time zone, so I'm mostly streaming. Uh, West Coast, best coast. At least at least six hours a day, it's five to six days a week. So around around Fuck eight you. eight o'clock Pacific is when we usually start streaming between eight and nine. I don't know. I think uh, X is better, only because my brain is in the MC. Yeah, I know. It's hard to wrap around new control schemes, man. It was really difficult for me after playing Marvel 2 for like 10 years of my life. I can't go from Dragon Ball to Marvel. I it's just tough. can't do it. It's I, tough, man. It, it took me a my long brain. time to, to, to sort of get used to multiple control schemes in similar fighting games. Yeah. You know, one of the most difficult things for me in the world was playing Ken in Third Strike for like 10 years of my life and then playing Ken in Street Fighter 4. 4 yeah. <laughs> Street Fighter's oh, like, what is going on? I couldn't, I couldn't play Third Strike anymore. Your I was doing Street Fighter 4 right. shit. I was like, oh my god, this is bad. You just want to parry. That's yeah, all you want to yeah, do. You want to yeah, marry. It was. I had to play a different character. Did you play four? In Street Fighter Four? Yeah. Uh, Ken, well, no, I played Ken. I had to play yeah. different characters in Third Strike, like Yoon. Oh, okay. okay. Characters that did different shit, and I was like, all right, it came back to me. But it took it took a while. You guys haven't been this area or what? Oh, I beat the shit out of this area. Simmons beat this area, but the enemies come back when you rest. Ah. The regular good, good, good. enemies come back. The gotcha, bosses gotcha. don't come back. Well, that big ass. Fat so that that allows you to farm back. enemies for skill and stuff like that. Ah, uh, that's good. Yeah, going from Burian in five to third strike is super fucking weird. Burian is like completely the way just the overall what you do with him is totally different. Bubba Ganoush, thank you. Yeah, yeah. How is he? Ah! Right below you, right there. Lock on will kill him. I saw you. Oh, good stuff. We saw you on the way down. Oh. Airwolf, thank you for the thousand bits, man. No, I did not beat the game yet, so he's off on the uh, did, did you beat this boss type of discussion. Uh, that allows you to have infinite life if you want. Like, you can just have 800 HP all the time. You can uh, speed up the battles. Um, things like that. Like it's like it's like bullshit like modifiers to the system like a game game genie, yeah. game genie tricks. Jairon, what what are the things you can modify in like FF7 and FF9? Like you can give your characters infinite health. You can uh, do other things in those games like the, the the ones that are on PS4. Two hits, you or? Okay, I gotta understand dodging. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, no random encounters. I see that. Is, is there a materia modifier? Madeline. Max level, max money, things like that. Yeah, th that was, those are like the little modifiers that you can do to FF7 seven seven. and 9. Seven comes out on Tuesday. Pretty great. It's just, it's just the PS4 version. Like, right, right. So you just you can you can do fast mode as well to run really quick through everything and yeah, make battles go fast. Yeah. You want to grab this guy so bad? Did you ever get a grab? Yeah, is there a grab button? Uh, no. I don't think you ever have any grab. In this. Not, not so far. No, I was gonna play the best Final Fantasy first. I think I'll just go with seven. <laughs> Need Chrono Nine. Nine? Have you played? How long have you played nine? Uh, 2000. <laughs> when it came out. Yeah, I mean, me too. 2000. I, I remember that game being good. But, I remember uh, being good all the way till the very end, and then it got stupid. Yeah. I remember enjoying yeah, it, but not like absolutely loving it. Right. Really good. The music. Shurikens, how to use a shrew? I actually don't know how to use you change your buttons, we don't know. Uh, it's I only switch two buttons. That's it. I only switch two buttons. Shurikens should be right trigger. Uh, right trigger. Yeah. Okay. You change that button. That's literally the one I changed. <laughs> literally the one I changed. <laughs> so I don't know if, like, what have you changed it to, me? man? Because what? the. Because, okay, X. Okay, what was X before? X. <laughs> X was just pick up items. Right. X was so pick, then how, pick, how could that be Shurikens if that was X, the one I X, switched? X was pick up items uh -huh. by default and ledge grab. Hold down to pick up items and, ledge and press X. Ledge okay, so yes, that's what I was doing. RB for sure. No, oh, no. RB, RB. This is why oh, you don't change the control. Yeah, Max, RB. I never <laughs> changed the RB. I did. I'm gonna go to RBs. I switched the bumpers and triggers, and then right. he switched it off of that. All I do is switch one thing. Right trigger is absolutely uh, prosthetic techniques, which is what shurikens are. Yeah. So well, it I should be I right switched, trigger. I switched that to attack for me. Yeah. I, I just like switched it. bumpers and triggers. He then then switched the, the, RT. that yeah. to, to fucking X. Uh, RB is the one. Yeah, I switched to X. Because uh, don't make cry. Different control screen. Well, we don't want spoilers. He says you have a control screen. We don't want spoilers. No. I'm glad this is ruining the fun. Oh, yeah. Richie Gigabit, oh, yeah. welcome back, man. Ah. My biggest problem in FF9 was the combat. Well, I mean, none of them are good. I mean, like FF seven to me is tolerable at least because Materia is fun. Materia is interesting. Uh, six is nice because everyone has like crazy weird shit, weird shit, fireballs yeah. and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Saban does Street Fighter moves, and one guy does other things. Eight probably has the most boring. Eight's the most breakable. And the most well, and it's but like, it's, it's breakability makes it boring because you just yeah. you just like it's weird, suck shit. It's weird at first, and you're like I don't suck, know if draw, I like, draw, you, draw, yeah, draw. When you realize that all you need to do was draw Aura Stone and then limit breaks. <laughs> You know, you let you be in limit break forever. Game is over. <laughs> Nine's very classic, but it's just kind of yeah, it's just Damn it, Harry, you son of a bitch! Nine is like a job system, but everyone has a set job. Yes. A yeah. So Freya is the dragoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the problem with nine. It's like it's e it's brain dead. If you've played the older yeah. games, but. Yeah, it's also like there's there's nothing really like fancy or new about it. At least like early early FF seven doesn't give you a lot of material shit to figure out, but at least it's fun. Like, oh, what does this new one do? Yeah. You know, how do I H? Do, I can HP absorb death blow. That means I'll get life back if I do crits. What the fuck? Well, what you do is yeah, you, get, life, you, you get the enemy learning material and the raft. You get out of mid card. Oh yeah, you learn Matra magic you and it'll carry you for about eight hours. Yeah, it'll carry you until like past cost. But then that's the that one of the most. That enemy skill to me was one of the most fun things on my first playthrough. Was just like which enemies can give me shit, and then you get manipulate, and you can find out what they have by reading their list of attacks yeah. and all this weird crap you can do to them. Like that was fun. Like I really enjoyed that. No, I liked the sphere. I really did like the sphere grid, and I liked. I liked. It was essentially the, Diablo. And and yeah, the lieutenant. Like I liked the sphere grid, and I liked how it told you the order that oh, was going dead, up. Dead. Um, oh, oh, many oh. bosses are dead. But oh. the problem is, is that. You don't, I mean, for me, I don't know how it was for you, Max, but it's like, I beat 10, I really liked it, and then a week went by, and I kind of forgot about me it. Me too. Yeah, I kind of forgot. I, I thought 10 was better than 7 that first uh, that first week it was out, and yeah. I loved it. Really into it, and then, like, I, after I was done with and it. And then it, I completely forgot about it, like, a week, like, 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 a week and a half later. And I was just like, and I didn't really have any desire to play it again. Weird. 
I got double team. But a lot of wow. a lot of people's first Final Fantasy was ten. Oh, yeah. It's a pretty good one to start off at, to be honest. Yeah. Altheon! Altheon, thank you. And I think I think ten is a is a better game than eight and nine. Definitely. I think it's better than I think ten is better than twelve in many ways. At least it's got some kind of enjoyable characters and Well is really interesting. Well's fun, but it's a it, weird it, game. It's a weird game because it's like the game that plays itself and you let it Programming. Oh yeah, and that's 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 part of the fun, but it's also like later on, you, it's definitely like the gambit system sort of like ruins and makes that game. Because a trash chat. Okay. The funniest thing is that like the only Final Fantasies I think that actually have like decent story. At least that I've played. Six has a decent story. Seven has like the best story, in my opinion. And I think ten story is at least good because it's like oh, a love story, oh. you know? and it's got some weird stuff. That kind happens. of, but then like when you really think, about it, so what's really going on? You're like the dream of a dead civilization. It's weird. It, it's wow. at least at least it's unique and weird. Like, like it, it, it's, it's like, like it's like what? Are you a memory? Like okay, like but at least it's got some unique stuff. I don't remember anything about the story of eight really, other than the fact that there's like time travel and yeah, time and you are time can, uh, time uh, times like splitting and you're another yeah. dude sometimes. And ADO was not time really compression. That's a what it was. Bad guy and I don't even fucking I, I beat it. Sorcerer's I couldn't even tell you. Yeah. And I, FF nine. All I remember is that Zidane's an alien. Uh, Kefla Kuja. Kuja is an alien. Yeah, they're both. Yeah, and your point. aliens. That's all I remember about the story. That's literally it. Uh, and that Vivi's story was really good. Yeah. Like, Vivi had some interesting stuff. Yeah. And Freya had some interesting stuff, too. And there was some funky thing with the tongue. Queena. Queena Quinn. I don't know oh, anything. Oh, oh, oh. Queena was like the cook things? Yeah. Couldn't tell you anything else in the game. I completely forgot it all. I think I'm Highlander, too. Okay, got it. Got it. I think FF6 is a really unique Final Fantasy because the, the boss wins. Like, yeah. that's what's neat about it, is that the, he literally succeeds. The world is destroyed. I'm like, whoa, fuck. And the the other... Oh, God, Steve. You're, oh, God. And just let him... All right. Let him... Uh, and I think another thing that's really interesting about Seven is that... Uh, what you don't realize until, you know, you're three-fourths through the game is that most of the game, you're the bad guy. You are literally working for Sephiroth. Doing everything he wants you to do the whole yeah, game, the and the game room. has been telling you this the whole time through these like flashback scenes that are just text on screen on black screen. Yeah. And you're like, what is this? Oh, it's just narrative. Okay, that's neat. No, that was literally Sephiroth telling you what to do, and wanting you just to do his bidding the whole fucking time. I'm like, it's pretty interesting. And then, and then in the final act of the game, in the final couple acts of the game, you're, you're finally your own fucking free spirit to, to do what to save the world. Interesting. And then you become paralyzed in a, uh... I think 6 has a more interesting world. 7 has better characters, and less of Yes, I, I would agree that 7's world is a bit all over the place. Yeah. It's like classic RPGs and steampunk, you know, yeah. like cyber steampunk, but then not all of a sudden, and then... It's kind of like there was like a, it was like a big melting box of, yeah. of a bunch of RPG tropes and shit. But then out, so like, at least it was the one big reoccurring thing that most Final Fantasies and JRPGs at the time didn't have. It was futuristic. it was futuristic. Yeah. It was actually like technology existed with magic, and that was why everyone got super boners yeah. for the game. It was technology and magic? Oh my god! And now that's like old. It's like super. <laughs> it's, now that happens in FF13, everyone doesn't give a well, fuck. Well, yeah. Now in, in, in all Final Fantasies, have like weird tech. Yeah, yeah, weird tech. Yeah, but seven was kind of like the big, the first big AAA RPG that had like you know a big budget to sort of do that. But we're gonna do something that's not just like knights and wizards. Yeah, Every, everyone is like now techno people from the future, sort of. But they're still real people. But now they have technology. You're gonna be fighting robots instead of you know necromancers. But there's necromancer robots technically. Knock them off, <laughs> Excuse the bridge, me. Steve. Knock them off. Come on, come on, the bridge, Steve. Come on. Thank you. Jesus, man, that parry is really fucking fickle. The dogs are easy. Doggo. <laughs> ah. I think the other dogs just. Okay, so they ignore you. 
I would Don't ignore this. Does seven still hold up? I would say seven absolutely still holds up. We're gonna find out. Or not. Let me find out. Okay. You know why seven holds up? Because uh I've watched I like watching people play FF7, some people that say they're playing it blind for the first time. Yeah. But they know a lot about it. Like I watched Retro Gaijin play seven for the first time. And he never played our JRPGs. He like literally is Japan guy lives in Jeez. Japan, yeah. but he doesn't really play a lot of JRPGs. And he's, he said he played like the first demo of FF7, and that was about it. And he knows Ooh. about Eris dying. And, yeah. yeah, but so we started playing it, and uh, just getting through it. And I, I realized watching him play it that like set piece to set piece. There's a couple of low points in the game, obviously like wall market, you know, and shit like that. <laughs> um, but they have their funny moments. Uh, but the, the game, in terms of like setting up next each next set piece and, and, and plot point and between this area to the next, everything's generally pretty interesting. So the whole time, he was just like super captivated by where the story was going. Like, whoa, the Sephiroth guy, what the fuck is he all about? And You know what, though? I think, I think the problem for me is not with Seven. Like, cause a lot of people have a problem with Seven because they think it, like, you know, it's, oh, wait, um, on one, it's overhyped and did all this other stuff. And I'm like, well, here's the thing. Like, for all the games that tried to be like Seven, it's not Seven's fault. Yes. You know, if a game tries yeah, to be like it was seven. the fact that seven changed everything. Yeah. You know, like everything tried to do what it did, including everything like Square did. After yeah. That. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just not fucking working. Oh the my. Lock on. You have to lock. Lock on. on. Uh, and then you'll be aiming at the uh, lock on. Um, but uh, I think when a lot of those elements come together, it, especially watching it through like a pair of fresh eyes when he didn't know what was happening. They made him cry like twice, yeah. just because of like just the way situations. And one thing he did notice that he said he liked a lot, and then I I didn't really realize many times I played it. That game really emphasizes relationships, and I mean like boyfriend girlfriend type of relationship, where it's like, are you gonna go out with this girl? Do you want to go on dates with them? Uh, this girl's kind of hitting on you and establishing that, and the, the characters are kind of real. They kind of like are people, is what it's. And that, I think that also comes through the American translation because it's a little different. Yeah. But the characters kind of have like unique quirks about them that are like, oh, he's cute. Oh, like you know, I like this girl. She's a, she's smoking hot. Like they they actually act kind of like humans in many ways throughout the rest of the game that I didn't really notice before. And he was mentioning is like, I like how the characters like you can kind of choose to have like a, a girlfriend or who you kind of want to be your girlfriend, even though that's complete bullshit. Like there's no choice. Parent. Like, the yeah, real there's, choice. Yeah. there's no actual choice. The game is just setting up the fact that, like, you know, characters seem to be attracted to each other. Didn't you end up going on a date with Barrett in your playthrough? <laughs> no, no, that's hard to do. Oh, you that's like a super secret. It. Yeah, I went on a date with Red Thirteen. That's true. That can happen. You can do that. I've yeah. seen that. And like figuring out between like, uh, what the fuck, uh, the the whole whole shit with you know Tifa or or Aerith or. Like both those characters show interest in you, like between being friends or kind of like girlfriends. Never cared about Cloud, though. And it, that's exactly it. And that's like figuring that not, out. Not romantic. And that like that people that, think. But she Cloud, did. but Cloud yeah. definitely, it's like yeah, like Aerith uh, is Cloud's Ada for fuck's sake, you know. Yeah. But uh, Ada! it wasn't Cloud she was in love with. Though. Wait. It wasn't. No, she she liked him because he was like her other boyfriend that got fucking murdered. She, she was in love with Zach. Yes. But. uh... It's and it's complete bullshit because it's completely like like manufactured to, to appeal towards teenage boys at the time. Yeah. And that's because it was really interesting to me too, because everyone's just thinking of like girls, 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 girls. Like your brain and your heart and your other parts of your body are just doing nothing but girls, 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 girls when you're every waking moment when you're that age. So that game had that those those parts about it that were actually kind of interesting. And not a lot I mean, and now games completely focus around that shit, but it was just like a little thing. Oh man. God. Jesus. I realized that I, I switched my Age. thingy over, so I was... <laughs> date was a secret? No. No, you by by default, like the what normally happens is you yeah, the the date sequence is with Aerith because it's more the most plot relevant. It it actually gives you the most okay, story. I, know where I, up. Okay, okay. I did it in Quistus in Final Fantasy VIII. Up, boys. I went for the teacher. That's why I like that game. I'm like, yo, this is a hot teacher. I was interested in You don't In your head. In your hand. In your hand? Yeah, I did. And we dated. Went great. <laughs> went great. Went great. Yeah. He was pretty interested in me. The other thing he was mentioning a lot when he was playing it, he's like, dude, the music in this game is fucking incredible. Really good. 
And then after that, he beat FF7 and he was like blown away when the credits ran, right? He like loved it. He didn't do all the extra stuff. He didn't like beat all like Ruby Weapon. He Ruby kind of was, and Emerald is just Ruby. He kind of was just following the story and doing the story stuff. Worse than Emerald, even though Emerald is so he beats it and he's like, man, JRPGs are this good. I've been missing the fuck out. Fires up FF8. Goes about three days playing it and then just completely drops it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Well, there was kind of a drop from 7 to 8. <laughs> I mean, it's not a bad game, it's just that it's a much different game than 7. Especially story-wise. Yeah, the good music, though. Yeah, it does. It's very pretty. It's way prettier than 7. That's what it got, that's what it really impressed me, because I just watched mostly my buddy. And then Final Fantasy... That's how I got into it, watching yeah. my friend. And then Final Fantasy 8 came out, and I'm like, wow, this looks so much better than Final Fantasy Seven. Look at the characters, like full size characters. Like, the full, the full size. <laughs> no, you can, but it doesn't. Do well. and to enjoy it, you have to break it. You're pretty flash. And, and I think you stopped playing FF8 around disc too. I might be wrong. I I, I kind of stopped watching as well. I, I stopped playing eight after. I beat it. I beat eight. I beat nine. I beat ten. I, I did beat, not beat nine. I beat eleven. I started playing nine. I don't like this. It looks all weird. It looks like Final Fantasy Seven. I, I want like future stuff. I, yeah. I don't want to go back to like. You were saying that was the big appeal of seven. It was I was like no longer wizards and, and knights. It was yeah. future and tech. That's why I liked. That's why I liked seven and eight. And then like nine went back to like. Oh, I beat eleven. Fuck you, chat. I beat eleven. I got bored of twelve, honestly. I tried. I got I to the. If it I wasn't, don't think it was like it's their favorite game. I was like. If it wasn't for the gameplay of 12, I would not have nearly played it as like, much. Like, it's interesting, but you know what's weird about it? Because I was playing the uh, Zodiac Age 2, and I'm like... I had an epiphany where I'm like, even though he had to quit halfway through the game, this is a Matsuno, Ask Matsuno, game. It's a chainsaw, thank you. I am I am menu managing the fuck out of my time through FF12. I am, I am constantly, like, in the menu, deciding jobs, oh, fuck! you know, doing all kinds of shit like that. I'm like, man, this is... Yeah. Well, he spent a lot of time in his, his game's menus. Fuck, he loves I his goddamn menus. I got far in 10. I just choked my clock. Fuck. Like a, sounds like a normal six-hour shift for you. That's pretty much it. I got far in 10 and then lost my memory card and found it. And I'm like, oh. Yeah. God, Earl, what's remember? the earliest Final Fantasy you've played, though? Three? Yeah, oldest. Uh, six. I, I tried four. Really? I tried 5 a little bit, I but never, when it came out on PlayStation. And yeah, I never actually played 4. I tried a little bit of 5. You start off the game as like Kane or some shit. I mean, uh, that's 2. That's 4, I think. Yeah, that's 4. And then, it was just so Two, old four. school. It was just yeah. so, like, NES. I have not played it. I've heard it's good. I played 5. That's the oldest one I've played, and it, I, it was meh. I mean, it, it was the first game with the job system, but I'm like, this story and characters are just so... I did I, eh. Silververse, thank you. I wasn't a fan how there wasn't really a central character in in six. Yeah, six is ensemble. But it yeah. also was kind of interesting because it was an ensemble. It wasn't my preference. It's like having a, a like a mute main character that just doesn't speak. Like I don't like that very much, just in general. But it hasn't like ruined the experience. For me. What was the Final Fantasy that had that weird Joker? Look? That was six. That was he was the main bad guy. It was Kefka. Um, but yeah, I, I haven't really beaten anything. I haven't beaten anything before uh, six. Yeah. Uh, Urban Gale, thank you very much, guys. Uh, Tiger Bit, thank you as well. 